Hey! Damn Show 2018 continues. Mike Lewis in the house, ladies and gentlemen, an old compatriot. We've fought many battles side by side. Yes, we have. And it's been glorious. Yes. And here we are once again to spread the word, if you will, about new Fender creations. New and old, if you will. New and old. You were just showing me some of these glorious historical anomalies, if you will, that yeah. have been re culled from the past <laughs> and brought forth. Unearthed from antiquity. Indeed! <laughs> Let's talk right about this one right here because this is this is my jam right here. Okay, so this is the vintage custom series, new for the custom shop this year. And the whole idea behind this is we've gone back into the archives and, uh, and brought back some features and specs that are literally lost to antiquity. Yes. Okay? I love that term, you know. Lost to antiquity. It's like the pyramids. And uh, so we found some things that were very little known facts about some of these vintage guitars. Some of the very early ones had compound radiuses. I'm sure it wasn't intentional. Right. Okay? Just sort of came out that way. And so this series represents like the first of something or some unusual specs that you didn't find all the time. Think maybe things that didn't make it or things that were part of a prototype or something like that. This 55 Strat right here, and we didn't use the 54 because we only do those every 10 years. Yes, right? of course. Okay. So the 55 Strat here is a trans transitional model with 54 covers. Love right? it. A little rounder. Exactly. And then what we call the modern knob, the, the knob that came in 1955, right? But you see the finish on this, it looks like it's got a little bit of orange peel in it. Yes. Okay, this is the flash coat lacquer, very, very thin. Yes. And there's no buffing to it. Okay, so that's why it kind of looks that way. And to match this, we used closet classic hardware, so it looks like it's a time capsule. Got it. As if you open the case, it's been in the box, never open, you open it up, and that's what you would see. What kind of a girthsome neck we got on this beast? It's a 54 neck. Oh, yeah. So it's seven and a quarter to nine and a half inch radius, and we actually found more than a few original examples of of original fenders with that radius. Again, I'm sure it wasn't intentional. Right. And we also came up with a new fret that's a little bit bigger than vintage and smaller than 6105. Okay. 850 wide by 550 tall. It's extremely cool. If you like the, the yeah, vintage yeah. kind of fret and the rounder fingerboard, it really just feels like an old guitar. Oh, I love it. <laughs> that's awesome. The weight is perfect. Oh, I love that. You talk about weight now. Oh, Lord. You know, before the Telecaster, there was what? The Nocaster. Yes. And before that, there was the what? The Broadcaster, right? Yes. Well, before that, there was the Double Esquire. The Double? Right, because the first guitar was the Esquire, right? Had one pickup. People said, we need two pickups. So he made it with two pickups. And then they said, what is it, one or two? <laughs> right? Right. So it actually predates the Broadcaster. This thing is ridiculous. Same deal, same kind of finish, same radius, same frets, okay? Now here, we came up with a whole new set of pickups called the 5051 Black Guard pickups. So they got the bigger magnets, bigger around Alnico 3s, bigger diameter Alnico 5s, dipped in shellac, not wax, thinner wire, okay? So it's like the magic recipe for like the early, early, right. early Black Guards. The wiring, it's like original blend control type wiring, so we modified it a little bit. Down here is volume, and then a blend for the neck. Oh! Okay, so the lost to antiquity broadcaster sound is this position with this backed off a little bit. Uh-huh. You can't get that on any other guitar. Can't get it. Can't get it. Can't. You can try? Middle position, neck only, no tone. Loud, full, juicy sound. This position, it engages a small cap and a 10K resistor. It lowers the volume a little bit and rolls off the highs a little bit on this. So you have an instantaneous, perfect, beautiful little rhythm sound. From that to that. And for those who can't deal with that crazy old wiring, <laughs> it comes with a, a whole nother assembly. A whole nother assembly. <laughs> that's Just in case you want to like solder it together. This, so that's a double Esquire. This thing weighs not, what's the weight on this thing? It's you know, be. it's light. It's very light. Very light. Blindingly light. <laughs> so uh, is this something that's going to be made available for ever? Or is it just this year? Forever. 
and next year we'll come up with a whole other additional group. So there'll be this it. and more. Yeah, and you can order these in any color you want, relic, extra relic, NOS, anything you want. Take it. That's the base model. I like that. 59 Strat, because it was the first year for Rosewood. Right. Right. 59 Tele Custom, first year for Tele Custom. This is the chocolate sunburst with the plum colored sides. Uh, so these all have that compound radius thing? All of them. Okay. And those frets. So then you move from that into the limited edition. So you kind of take a spin off of the double Esquire with the double Esquire special. Okay. Mm. Bound top only. Mm. Super flamey neck, bigger frets. And we came up with a new set of pickups called the Loaded No Caster. Load it up. Load it. Get it. The Loaded No Caster neck pickup by itself, when you put it in whatever guitar you want to design, you can get it with an open top or a normal closed top. This guitar comes with the open top, so it's called Open Loaded No Caster Neck Pickup. Like a little bit better. hotter, okay? I love that. Badass. It's got the same wiring as the as this. Double S. And it also wiring. comes with the kit. With the other assembly. If you can't deal with it. If you can't deal with you the power deal. of antiquity. I know. But you gotta put the cool one in. To let them know. To let them know, right? And then they want to retreat back into modernity. Here's an HS reverse. Oh, look at that. Got reverse angled uh, bridge pickup, humbucker in the neck, and Bound top and back, comes in an assortment of crazy colors, heavy relic cover, color over color. It's pretty darn nice. And also in the limited edition, 58 P-Base, the black anodized guard. Oh, I love that. Base comes in black or 55 desert tan. Glorious. It never ends. Never ends. Postmodern for 2018, has El Diablo pickups. The devil. That's right. And that's like in the lineage of the Tomatillo, the Ancho Poblano, and now, and the El Diablo. So the Tomatillo Strat. So if you have El Diablo pickups, Ancho Poblano pickups, Tomatillo pickups, kind of underwound, right? The Poblanos are, you know, hot, and the El Diablos are more hot on acid. Okay, so the Tomatillos, this year the, this year the most modern strats have the El Diablos. Got it. I think we forgot to talk about this Tomatillo. Let's talk about this Tomatillo. It's, it's Tomatillo strat, okay. Nice big frets, compound radius, Got seven it. and a quarter to nine and a half. And the, the Tomatillo pickups, a little bit underwound, Alnico 2 magnets. Dipped in the secret sauce. Secret sauce. Like the Ancho Poblanos and the El, Dia El Diablos. This one has a master volume and a master tone and a, bl and a half blender. Ah. So down here in the bridge in the second position, with this all the way up, you got normal bridge pickup, full on. As you dial it back, you start blending in the neck. Oh, back and frontish. Okay. Dig it. So if you go all the way back, you get both pickups all the way on. But if you do that magic thing, like you bring it down to about seven, it get, enters that realm. Get that action. You get a sound that you cannot get on a Stratocaster. I like this kind of you talk. Know, like how many times you want your bridge pickup to sound like a telly? Right. Here you go. Kapow. That's cool. The, that's I like Tomatillo. that color too. That's Tomatillo green. It actually took a, a, an old, withered up Tomatillo, really dried out, said, so match this color. And lo and behold, that is cool. And the and the uh, the bound the pick guard pick it's the guard. same as this fifty nine. I think they must have used this whole pattern maybe for a day ah. <laughs> in nineteen fifty nine. The beauty of the nineteen fifty nine is there's so many different variations, right? Because it's transitional. So there's an eight hole pick guard, but you can see the location is just like, oh my god, I never saw that before. Well, we found one, original. Okay, so there's no hole there, no holes here. This is when we were trying to figure out, like, you know, how many holes did we need? Transitioning from single ply to triple ply. So I thought that was cool, so we put it on the Tomatillo. Aha. Uh -huh. Having fun with history. I know. Rewriting history. I like it. Time machine. Man. 50s Jaguar. Jazzmaster. 
50s Jazz Master. This also comes in like uh, Sonic Blue and Three Tone Sunburst. But we're using Scott Buell's right. J Bridge here. So it's a maple neck with kind of a V shape. Cool. Like the very, very early uh, Jazz Masters kind of had that V shape to them. Since this is the anniversary of the Jazz Master. Got it. This year. Of course, the Jaguar with the, the bridge. The J Bridge as well. Base six in black, a mm. bunch of other colors. Got a, 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 a nice, um, that's a, it's a postmodern base, sorry. The 59P base, 60J base, an assortment of colors. And this year, we put the no-caster back in the collection. Got it. Okay. And instead of being available in the catalog in a bunch of different colors, we said, let's do one in NOS, Lush Closet, Classic, Relic, Journeyman Relic, and Heavy Relic. Got it. So you can order it. Any permutation of right. abuse. Of course you could anyway, right? But it's like, hey, why not? We're just gonna lay it out for you. We are, we're gonna lay it out for you. 58 Strat, 64 Strat, 68 Strat. Okay, all in this year's collection. And all of these guitars feature that radius we spoke of in the frets. No, 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 they have various, these have very, different. Very, okay. Yeah, these are mostly nine and a half inch. Got it. With either 6105s or 60. Gotcha, okay, so only those yeah, morsels over there. The, the vintage customs have that. Vintage custom. New frets and radius. Yes. Of course, you could order the, any guitar from us with that with radius whatever. and those frets. Right. It's in, the, it's, it's in the new uh, design guide. You too can have fun with history. Yes, you can. You can rewrite history. <laughs> I'd like to start rewriting history right now. Let's do it. Look at this morsel. So this is the 59 Esquire. And um, I just love Esquires, man. They're glorious. Nothing that sounds like just that one pickup. Unrepentant savage. It is, there's something about that. This has the full throttle Esquire wiring. Yes. All the way back, pickup goes Pow. straight to the output jack. This is like, none of this works, right? Just. Bzzz. You go here, you got volume. Yes. You go here, you got volume and tone. Okay. And then if you just like, you know, have to have another pickup, it comes with a kit. With the neck pickup, the pick guard, oh. and a complete control assembly in the case. So if you want to smell solder flux, that's all you got to do is... If you're afraid of the power of one pickup and the truth, then you can hide behind the veil. Well, you know, I think of Esquire, the additional accoutrements. Esquire has become so much more popular since we started including the kit. Oh, that's cool. So that's vintage custom, limited edition, postmodern, and time machine. We also have artisan. Oh yes, should we waltz over there? Shall we? All right, we're back with Mike Lewis and All right, the back. artisan section of the custom shop lair. What do we have here? Something completely different. All right. I'm in. You know, for years we've we've done guitars like this with exotic woods and things like that. And um, you know what people really expect and have come to expect from the custom shop is something on a, on a kind of a vintage platform. Yes. So about three years ago we decided, hey, let's try the artist in that way. Let's do vintage guitars, but with exotic funky woods. woods. You know what I mean? I can like, dig it. Wow, what an idea! And <clears throat> So this is the third year in a row we've done them like this, and it's been, been received very well. Every year we change it up, either gold hardware, no, or different pickups and different woods. Some woods stay because they're really, really popular, and the other ones we push out and bring in new ones. Like this year we brought in Ziracotti. What the heck is Ziracotti? It's dark and beautiful. I like it. Okay. We're also doing a telly like it. Oh, beautiful. Okay. I like that. And this year we're doing nickel and chrome hardware. Last year we did gold. Uh -huh. Of course, if you want to order one with gold, you can. You can do it. Why? Because, because uh, at the custom shop, they give you the tools exactly. to recreate history. Right. We did a, uh, a telly with P90s this year. I like it. Koa top, Akume back and sides. All roasted necks, flame. Some of them have bird's eye. Some of them have ebony fingerboards. Some have... African uh, blackwood fingerboards, some have dark rosewood fingerboards. Let's start with the bridge on this piece. This is a sawed off RSD tele bridge. Basically, get a tele plate, we saw it off and put Scott Buell's RSD bridges on here. It's just, it's great on a strat for a hardtail. Oh, it's also yeah, yeah, great yeah, on, yeah. A, on, a, on a tele where you have a humbucker or a P90 or something like that. Dig it. And feel how light that is. <laughs> awesome. This girth some neck. 
those uh, tuners as well. It's kind of funky looking. Vintage tuners with, you know, with uh, tortoise type tuners on it. Very cool. Matches the binding and the pick guard. What kind of P90s are these? These are Fender made. Awesome. This is a uh, figured mahogany with the black phenolic pick guard, like, a, like what comes on a no caster. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And we did gold on this one because it just, just kind of like, just kind of popped, you know what I mean? Oh, this is cool. Spalted Maple's always a, always a, a popular favorite. A popular favorite. Tamo Ash. That's beautiful. It's got kind of like a 50s right. look to it. And there's a telly version. Ooh, of that's quite comely. Tellies have the loaded no caster pickups in them. The strats have uh, um, some of them, they have poblanos in them. Delicious. Yeah. Spicy. Powerful. Jazzmaster. Koa. Oh, that's beautiful. Roasted. So how long have you been using the, this, this bridge? That's got to help immeasurably. In that's the... huge, man. It's been about three years, three or four years since Scott uh, designed it. And what it does is it adds an angle, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Works so much better. S adds a lot of sustain to the guitar. <laughs> it looks ridiculously cool. It does look cool. Now in the custom, custom built options, we now have Elite Strats and Tellies uh -huh. as base models. Okay, so if you wanna order a custom Elite Strat or Telly, you can with that, you know, with the new. Oh yeah, with the new access. Truss rod access, hum single single of the Tellies, compound shaped neck. So that's new. Now these on the bottom and the top over here, uh -huh. those are custom versions of the vintage custom. Got it. Okay. Just to show you guys that you can do them in different colors, you can do them with different finishes. Like here's that double Esquire in a in a relic. Got it. Here it is in wide fade sunburst. Here's the here it is with sparkle, copper, and aged. Um, Vintage white. And here's some 55 activity. 55s right? in, in whites, various whites. Beautiful. Like that's the white blonde, vintage blonde, desert sand, 55 desert tan, and dirty white blonde. Dirty white, white blonde. blonde. Of course, you could, you could order this guitar in pink sparkle. Whatever you want. If you'd like. And we have some shell pink sparkle guitars here tonight, as a matter of fact. You know what? The sky's the limit. The sky is the limit. You can do whatever you want. You can toy with history, toy with colors, you toy could. with people's minds. You could dig up stuff, you know, and go, hey, this is cool, let's do it. And it will be done. That's right. Provided, of course, the capital is present, present to allow such imaginary activities to commence. And some of the things you find, you realize, yeah, it was a good idea to stop doing that. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. You know what I mean? Now I know why they didn't continue this. That's what we got. Well, very cool. I tell you what, thank you so much for giving us the guided tour. You've, um, it's always kind of a double-edged sword. It's good to find out what's out there, but then it's another thing you want to get. And do we really need more guitars? I guess the answer is yes. Well, the beauty of the custom shop is, you know, the collection that we have, it changes every year. Yes. But you can keep ordering it as long as you want. Because we're custom. Nothing ever goes out of style. Nothing becomes obsolete. Yes. And any one of these um, collection guitars can be used as a base model change it up. You know, I like that, but I want these pickups, I want this color, I want this neck radius, I want this wood, but I like that basic setup. Right. And that's, and that's what we do. Because not everybody knows what they want. Right? So the whole idea behind this is it's a way to showcase things we come up with. Yes. If we didn't put it on guitars, nobody would know, right, that we had these pickups, or we had this bridge, or we had this, this new radius with these fret combination is so cool. If we didn't put it on a model, you'd never know. Yes. Right? So that, that's a way to showcase. You plant the seed and the reap the harvest that's of right. curiosity. Exactly. I like it. I like what you've done here once again. Thank you. Always a pleasure. Thanks for showing us all the stuff <laughs> and for your convivial hospitality. Convivial? That's a, that's a word that I... Can you dig it? I'm digging it, man. <laughs> <laughs> pleasure as always. Right. Gregory Thank Cocker you. here in Fender Custom Shop Land, NAMM 2018, out.